We journeyed on from the redwoods with deep hesitation. We had enjoyed so thoroughly the forest, and the next few days would try our patience, skills, and resolve. San Francisco, I think, or Yosemite, we haven't decided yet. Got a little problem here with the air box. I think we could probably remedy that with some JB weld. But uh, we don't want to lose it, the air box completely. We'll just leave it, you know? Oh, Dude, dang. This carb is detached. Oh, we got a repair to make. Time to get the tools out. Just a flathead piece of So here's what we did here. Eli tied it up right here. Tied as a funeral drum. So I think we should be able to get down the road. Nice job. We had tied up the air box with some paracord and headed for San Fran. We planned to take lodging in the city. The road to San Fran was yet another inspiring line. It seemed to go on for hours. Smoke from the nearby fires lingered over the mountains, and we drifted in awe of creation. The California terrain changed by the hour. Open seas, forests, deserts, fields, orchards and mountains, it's humbling and powerful. bridge behind us, we searched out our Airbnb. The hills in the city were steep, challenging. You could easily biscuit your clutch out here. We soon found our Airbnb and headed out for some dinner. We would get some good rest tonight. Looking back, we desperately needed it. We're out here in San Fran trying to go get some food. Alright, we just packed up our room. About to head out, got a few more things to grab. It's a good night's sleep in San Fran. Got to do some laundry, put on some clean clothes, take a shower. Yeah, we're just loading up, getting ready to roll out. <clears throat> Alright, we're somewhere in San Fran. Greg's tightening up his timing chain for the 10th time this week. Um, we were going we were going to 4-in-1. We did go to 4-in-1 because Greg needs a new chain and new rear sprocket. We were stoked. We got there when they opened. 9 a.m. We got there right around 9.30, rang the bell. Greg called him, I don't know, two times or so. They're open Monday to Friday. It's Saturday, so that was cool. Yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah. Now we're getting coffee and uh, the poppy seed muffin. It's so good. Yeah. We crossed the San Francisco Bay 
and pressed on towards Yosemite. But disaster was looming, and no one spoke of it. Something was awry with Greg's bike. But the look across the water and the thoughts of El Capitan drove out the disturbing engine noise. We throttled up and pressed on, hoping against hope. We are out here in the middle of Yosemite country with a broken tensioner and the grind continues. That's all I can say. We are, we are just, <laughs> you know, in his motor and here. We just continue to work through this. It's been great fun. And uh, hopefully tomorrow we get in contact with somebody and we can either build our own tensioner from parts from the hardware store or get one from a, a Facebook Yahoo. So Getting one from Facebook would be the best option. But, you know, what we might come up with if we have the opportunity to build our own, it could be quite magnificent. So it could be. It could be pretty amazing. As you Hello, can see, I didn't see you there. <laughs> as you can see, Greg's a bit out of sorts. His beanie looks like look like oh, he sure. just got out of Santa's workshop. And yeah, we actually broke down right in front of an RV campground where we are being allowed to pitch tents. His shirt says the dude abides. What's that from? Big Lebowski. Yeah, dude abides. It was a sweet shirt. Yeah. Give it a bias. Anyway, we're going to fix this motor tomorrow, and then we're going to ride through Yosemite, and then we're going to ride through everywhere else we're supposed to ride to. And then, when we're done doing that, we'll be done. But we're nowhere near there yet. Here's the extra fuel storage that we never have and never will use. My deepest apologies to both of you folks. There's probably... Oh man, I love it, and a, I love carrying it. A, cool, a cool one. I think one. about old Donnie Whitman every day. Donnie Whitman, you won't need fuel. There's yeah, fuel every. Fuel. We needed fuel. Guess what, Donnie? Piss off. We, did, we, did. we came prepared to ride off into the woods and stuff like that, but the truth is, we just haven't had all the time we dreamed of, and that's okay. It's been great, but you know the time just hasn't been there to go gallivanting off into the forest. You guys, there's ten days left in this trip. Uh, 12. 12? So we're not even, we're two-thirds done. Yeah, barely. So don't yeah. start talking about the down climb, the, term, the downturn of this trip. It's still well, on the up and up. The reason the downturn is on my mind is because for a brief moment there, I thought that we might just have to get his bike home. Like ship at UPS and send him on a Greyhound? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Like all of us That's just try and ride. Straight home. Here. Dude, you probably could, man, before I'd ever do that. Dude, you really probably could buy one. We could do a little tune action. Maybe yeah. tomorrow. Like we'll look, look around. Yeah, dude, we'll, see. we'll see what happens. I Just mean, buy I'm a 350. Fully, I'm fully ready to I think you could do the journey on a poop moped if you ship some of your stuff back. I'll take all your stuff. It's no problem. Right on my handlebars. I'll ride with you. Make an epic video. I'll dump gas in it while you're riding. If we can... <laughs> I mean, dude, the, someone, you know, there's, we're, gonna, we're passing by a lot of things. If we and can get a new that, bike. But, like, because we're gonna burn the journey is more important to me than, than dates and times and, and, I mean, and flying home. Yeah, Matthew you know, might be willing to help us I out, too. If I have to do it, I have to do it, but, yeah, he might have a connection down this way. I know. You know? Yeah, like, he. I, I would, I would hop on something and get go, go back to San Fran. If somebody was like, dude, I have a 350 here. San Fran's only 200 miles. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's we're not, we're not. I mean, shoot, that's why I asked how far away four into one is. If we could get a tensioner there, it might be. Yeah. It, it might be worth it. Yeah. All right. Here we are. It's midnight. We're camping near Yosemite and we're trying to fix a catastrophic, not catastrophic, but potentially catastrophic failure of a cam chain tensioner. So, so here's his tensioner right here. And here's the rubber that broke and there's a, supposed to be a, supposed to be a lot thicker. So, 
Oh crud, I put that in there, now I gotta clean it again. <laughs> so, we wrangled up a piece of rubber from the neighbor, and we are going to, we cut it out and shaped it, and we're gonna put it in the tensioner, glue it in with JB Weld, and fold these edges in and see if we can't get down the road on that. And uh, 500 miles? Yeah, like maybe, maybe 2,000 miles on this. No, just 500. We got, we got one on the way. But we, are, we really are in the back country here up in Yosemite and uh, just doing a temporary fix. So um, we'll keep you posted. All right, here is our tensioner plunger. So we're going to let this cure overnight and uh, we're going to give this a go tomorrow. So I think that we are feeling raz raz rather positive about the outcome of this effort. And um, we'll let you know tomorrow. So. All right, we're just inside uh, Yosemite and uh, we continue to make adjustments here. We have put in our uh, our homemade tensioner which seems to be performing flawlessly. Uh, I'll have to check the mileage but I think we've gone at least 15 miles though on that. I think so. Somewhere. But uh, since we got that chain adjusted properly our timing is off. After adjusting checking and rechecking just outside the gate of Yosemite we determined the engine wouldn't hold up looking ahead to Tioga Pass and the deserts of Nevada the risk was just too great we turned back 25 miles to the nearest town Groveland population 540 there we would make a plan.